Hello everyone, and welcome back to A-Liner Discoveries. In this video, we're going to be talking about the first video that we created, where we removed the bubble window, and we'll be addressing the issue of reattaching the bubble window using silicone adhesive. Alright, so with the silicone, what I did was I uh, cut it pretty deep, so it's going to give a really fat bead. And then I also cut a V in the channel to see if... Uh, and get a nice V around the outside. So hopefully when I put it down, it'll create a nice seal. Like I said, it's really hot today, so I'm gonna um, be doing this in the shade. So here we go. I thought about how I was gonna do this video for you guys, and I just couldn't get over the fact that there was a lot of monotonous and tedious work that was going on in this video. So what I decided to do was to speed up the video and I'll just walk you through the process of what I'm doing so you don't have to watch me for 30 or 40 minutes just applying silicone. So like I said, what I'm doing here is I'm applying a really thick bead of silicone around the edge of the bubble window. My goal with the whole process of putting this much silicone on the edge of the bubble window is to hopefully have it ooze out of the sides so that when I peel off the masking tape that I'll show later on, it will leave a nice rounded bead around the edge of the window. So really quickly, I want to point out what I'm doing here. I'm trying to be really tactful in the way that I drop the window onto the opening so that it doesn't slide around and spread the silicone around too much. All right, guys, so I have to apologize because somewhere along the lines, I lost the video that was showing the process of putting down the masking tape around the edge of the window. But essentially what I did was I laid the window down and I put masking tape down so that when the silicone oozes out, it's going to ooze out on top of the masking tape. That way, when you peel off all the masking tape, it removes all of the excess silicone that oozed out over the top of the masking tape. One thing that I noticed after I put on the bubble windows was that the walls of the A-frame were actually kind of a little warped and bubbled because the interior of it is separating from the fiberglass on the outside. This bubbling was caused because of the water damage that was making the interior separate. So what I did was I grabbed a couple extra 4x4s that were just laying around and I threw them up on top to give pressure to hold that down. In addition, I grabbed that dumbbell and wrapped it in masking tape and set it on the corner that was kind of coming up. This helped apply pressure to those areas that were separating from the wall so that it gave a nice seal around the edge of the window. Well, other than the fact that I'm short and I can't reach up here in the middle, I think we're going to be okay. Not the prettiest job. But I think there's enough silicone on that to seal it up. Alright, so sorry for the shaky cam, but I'm just going to do this by hand. As I peeled away that masking tape, this is the kind of bead that it left around the edge of the window. And I think, I don't know if you can see it through that shadow, but I think that it turned up pretty good for a first attempt and never doing caulking before I'll still probably still be super paranoid and uh, go back through and redo another layer of caulking on top of all of it just to give it one more level of seal but overall I think it turned out great so anyways I'm gonna end this video here but remember if there's anything that you guys have questions about please put it in the comments if you i don't know if you want to subscribe to the channel i'm going to be showing a whole bunch more renovations of everything that i'm going to be doing to this i've got a whole other window that i'm going to do so like again if you have comments of how i can do this better put it in the comments and i'll consider it for the next try next time anyways it is hot out here so you guys have a wonderful day and safe travels Enjoy the journey. All right. All right, guys. So this was just a quick little video showing my steps and process of how to remove that bubble window and how to get that silicone caulking off and everything. Um, if you guys have a better way of doing that, please let me know. Put it in the comments. I'd be more than happy to try it on the next one because I've got a whole other bubble window that I've got to do. Um, like always, if you like what you see, make sure that you hit subscribe or like my video so that you can 
get notifications when new ones come out and so that you can you know help support me and my channel um, like always make sure you enjoy the journey <laughs>